In this tutorial, we look at the native editing suite that's now a part of DALI inside ChatGPT. The four things that we're going to explore are changing backgrounds, removing elements, adding elements, and adding text to a particular spot in the image. So let's start by generating an image. Classic comic book style art panel of a robot butler. All right, so now we have this. We can click on it and use the select feature to select an area to edit. So we're going to copy around the background. And I found this doesn't have to be incredibly precise. It'll get the idea. Let's say change to a museum setting. So you can see we're using the same sort of natural language commands, but applying it to a particular section. Now, this is, of course, a feature you've seen in other tools like Adobe's Firefly. But what has people excited is that Dolly tends to have really high fidelity to the instructions you give it. So here we've put this in a museum background. One thing I will note, I wasn't sure whether to include this little section or not. And while it sort of works in either case, it appears that if I wanted to change that, I should have. In other words, it wasn't sophisticated enough to know that this was another section of the background that I just didn't grab. Next up, let's remove an element. We'll select this towel and write, remove this towel. Now you can see it's actually creating two different images that we'll select between. We've got this one, and then we have this one. Number one being the better. So now we've removed an element. So let's try to add an American flag pin. There we have it. Now for our fourth tip, adding text in a precise spot, let's create a different image that's a little bit more designed for this. Retro futuristic cartoon of a manic street preacher holding up a blank sign. Let's see what we get from this. Perfect, now we've got this. And now let's select our sign, add the words, AGI is near. And there you have it. When push comes to shove, this is one of those features that's going to be pretty table stakes for all image generators. But still, right now, I think it's working pretty impressively well. At some point, maybe they'll even allow you to upload your own images to modify, and that's where things will really get fun. For now, however, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Back with another one soon.